story. The essence of Indiana Day is basically, it's a user-generated documentary, um, crowdsourced, and in that, that people around, we're asking people around the country, all over India, to shoot their day on October 10th, whatever they do that day, and upload that footage, and we take that, put it together into a feature-length documentary called Indiana Day. The idea being this is a slice of life of this country in one day, across the spectrum, whatever it is. If, if your mother is making dal, if you're walking down the street, if you're getting a haircut, if it's your birthday, if you're getting married, if you're getting divorced, anything. The idea is that it's in your own voice, in your own words, your story. That's what we want to do. It came about originally because Ridley Scott, who's the executive producer, um, his first short film was about his day. He just took a camera and shot his day. This is when he was starting his career. And so I think now that technology has empowered people all around the world, and especially in a place like India where it happened very rapidly, you had people who didn't have access to landlines, now all of a sudden they have cell phones, now they have cameras, video cameras, high-end HD cameras in their hand. They're empowered to tell their story, where before they had no public voice. So this is a chance for them to speak. If you're running around with a copy, I could snag one. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> Diversity of thought is what this project is built on. So the fact that we, ha we could have thousands or hundreds of thousands of people contributing different points of view with footage um, and stories, and then we have a handful of creative advisors and producers and myself on the project. So someone like people like Ridley and Anurag, of course, they have different sensibilities, different histories, different styles of storytelling cinematically. Uh, but I think that's only going to contribute to what this could be. Our very own premiere this evening. Very exciting to see them again. So I think we all have a mishmash that we're throwing in. The one consistency is that we have spent our lives storytelling cinematically. And that's going to be something we all bring to this. It's hard to say um, how we're going to compile it. I mean, that, that is a creative process. In terms of logistics, I mean, Google is backing this project, right? So they have the data management capacity to take up all this footage. We will take that, and we have a team, me, the editor, the producers, the creative advisors, the army of logging and assistant editing kind of personnel that we have. Uh, we're all going to look at this and say, how do we organize this footage? How, you know, if we get 50 or 100 shots of sunrise and sunset, that'll be one category. So we'll start looking at things and patterning them. I expect that this film will prove that a place like India defies categorization and generalization. And I think all of us are always trying to categorize and generalize things. And if this can dispel that stereotype, or at least prove that it's not possible, um, I think only good can come from that.